So now we're going to talk about the main menu, the station. In this sense, we attach here in the middle button, you will see the main menu and different options. We're going to the first to the second option because the first one is to reset all the settings. So we will not touch that one. Go to the second one. So in the second one, you can see the following. You can choose between, ah, well, oh, that's a pin code. Later I will explain you about the pin code. By default it's 0105 if you get it from the factory, okay? But in this case, you can change, coming back to the temperature, you can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay, in this case we're within Fahrenheit. The max temperature is 840, the minimum 190. There's a metronome, like in a music class, this will give you a timer, a beep every um, every a time, every amount of seconds that you select. Then we have a help text. You can put help text that will help you during your operations. Then the beep. So I will leave it on because this case will leave it on. Then the QST. The QST will explain you at the end of the video. It's so get tuned because it's the new traceability 4.0. And then we have the pin code, as we were talking, this is great because you can lock out the station. So if you want to lock, for example, one temperature or all the parameters, you're able to do that. Okay. And then back. So coming back, then we go to the three, to the tool settings. You can select either one temperature. Okay. Remember I've done the pin code. So in this case, again, we put it by default. And in this case, imagine that you have one single operation and you want to set it up on the floor and you don't want anybody to work higher than 690, okay? So in this case, we will go back, we'll save the changes and then exit. So as soon as I get the handle, you can see here, fixed temperature. It will not let you, it will not allow you to move the temperature out. Going back to the menu, Okay, we already were good on that in the tool settings. Here, again, it will ask you always for the pin code. So if, if you are in the case that you don't take it out. So in this case, we're going to take it out. Okay, and then we have the temperature level set. Imagine that you're working always in the same operation or you have uh, by default three temperatures and you don't want the operators jump more than that. You always work in the same range. Imagine that you're working in 650, 700, and the third one, 750, come on. So you go back, changes, yes. So in this case, when you lift it up, you can see the three temperatures here. This, the only thing they have to do is touch the button. And by itself, it will quick to the selected temperature. If you place it back again, remember again, pink over again. So we'll put it again and then we take it out. Then we have the sleep delay. So as soon as you place the handle in the cradle, we go to sleep. You can select the temperature. Okay, so in this case it was in 300, as we were seeing before. However, remember at the really beginning I was talking about something called hibernation delay? Okay, it's this. You can overwrite this program, put it to zero. In this case, if we put it to zero, if you go back, look what happens. It goes to hibernation. Right now, if I, do not, if I don't touch this unit and I leave, this unit will go to room temperature. This little thing extends tip life a 30% more because the tip is not burning, it's not oxidizing as other brands that there is burning there for 800 all the time. And then when you come back, you have a black oxidized tip. So that's a really important feature. And then you have the temperature adjustment. Our stations do not need calibration. The advanced series do not need calibration required. However, if you have a uh, digital thermometer, a TAB, you can do the testing depending on the geometry and the mass of the tip. Of course, there's going to be a little delta of and a little variance in temperature. However, you can adjust as specifically and really critical the temperature. So if you want to be imagine. 771 F, you can be 771 F on point. And then going back, at least but not last, we have the counters and then you can see this is our brand new unit. How many hours has been plugged, the working hours, the sleep hours, hibernation hour, two hours and si sleep cycles. And then the program version is the brand new unit. All this information, 
it will be recorded. Excuse me. Here. There's a 